When we travel, we often spend so much time packing and weighing our luggage that we often don't think about what to wear on the plane. But to avoid some embarrassing situations, here's a list of things not to wear on an airplane. No, before you go. Number one, t-shirts with offensive text. In some countries, they take security so seriously that they will stop you from boarding if your outfit looks offensive in any way. It may sound oppressive, but save your witty T-shirts for after the flight. Be warned. Number two, high heels. High heels are always a bad choice when flying. Firstly, when you're asked to remove them, like everybody else, you really don't want to be walking around barefoot. HPV is a highly contagious virus. Uh -oh. Also, during the flight, high heels will become uncomfortable, mm. so you'll want to take them off again. Just think about how many people's bare feet have been where yours are. Number three, perfume. This one is for the people around you. If you wear too much heavy perfume, it can annoy the passengers sat next to you. Or they might have allergies or an asthma attack on the flight. So think twice before bathing yourself in cologne. Number four. Tight clothes. Ugh. Tight clothes are never a good idea on flights, especially when it's longer than four hours. You might suffer blood circulation issues. Wear loose, comfortable clothes or special compression socks and walk around whenever you can. Number five, complex clothes. You have to remember that the spaces inside the airplane are very small, especially the bathrooms. So if you have to remove garments and contort into strange positions, just remember there's not that much elbow room when you're up there. Number six, no metal. Everything containing metal is always a problem when you have to go through airport security. You will have to remove it all and leave it in a tray. Think about that if your sweater or trousers has metal ornaments on it. Number seven, summer clothes. During the summer, we usually wear summer outfits, but it's not the best option if you are flying on an airplane. They tend to use air conditioning, very cold air conditioning. So always remember to bring a cardigan or similar and avoid catching a cold on the first few hours of your holiday. <laughs> Number eight, contact lenses. If you have a long flight, it's better to take your lenses out, especially if you're going to sleep. Due to the constant air conditioning, the humidity can be very low, making your lenses get dry and can irritate your eyes. Number nine, flip-flops. Airports can get very hot sometimes, so if you are wearing flip-flops, you can imagine the result, right? Sweaty, smelly feet that stink of cheese. And again, going barefoot at airport security. So before you get embarrassed smelling bad in a tight space crammed with lots of people, choose better shoes. Hmm. Number 10, large handbags. You're on an airplane, not the beach. Remember, everything is reduced here. Do you really need to bring that huge handbag? Try choosing a smaller one. Not only will the other passengers yeah. thank you for it, you will feel more comfortable too. Have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction while flying? Comment below.